of Keller Williams. We are at Il Lapino at Royal Hawaiian Center and we are here to whine about real estate. <laughs> Welcome to episode one. Tonight we have John Keeper with Kama Aina Mortgage Group. I have Joelle Seashell who is our famous buyer's rep from Team Play Square. And I have Josh Nicely here to share about the wine. Right, so this is a wine about real estate. So we're going to start this episode with a Pinot Grigio, a Il Ramato Pinot Grigio from the Venetian area. I believe Il Ramato stands for the loved one. Right. So it's going to be a nice starter wine, fruity, light, and Maybe everybody has a little bit, so yeah, a little bit more. Cool. It looks like it kind of has yeah. a little bit of a coppery taste. Okay. <laughs> what do you think? It's refreshing. Nice and smooth. Yeah. A lot of apple berry yeah. smell. Yeah. Apple smell. Yeah. yeah. I love the right. color. It's like a copper color. It's nice. Yeah. So we do have a great listing on the market right now in Montecillo. It has a legal ADU, which is an additional dwelling unit. So Jojo, I think, has a client who is interested in this property. Yeah, so I was just speaking with a client, a buyer this afternoon, and he's been working on getting his pre-approval together. It looks like he's qualified uh, at the maximum of 750 so in that range, but the property in Makakilo is listed at 975, so it's a little bit outside of his budget. And one of the questions that I was proposing to John was if this property has documented rental income over the last year from the seller, can that be factored into the buying power that my current buyer has? And could he get pre-approved at a higher amount? Absolutely, he could. Um, if it's a legal, a legal dwelling, substitute in dwelling, we can use the rental income, even the projected rental income from the second unit, to offset that mortgage payment to help him qualify for a higher amount. So, when you say projected, is that just I would pull uh, current market we, we would, comps? An appraiser would do that. Oh, okay. If there's nobody in there now, there's no lease. An appraiser would come in and do what's called a 1007, which is the sure rental analysis. Not. So it'll see what the going rate is for a unit of that size in that neighborhood, what the going monthly rental amount would be, and we'll use 75% of that mm. towards his house in the mortgage. So then normally an appraisal happens later in the transaction, so would that mean that before my buyer could even be qualified to submit an offer that we would have to have an appraisal come out, or how would that work? Well, in that case, we would probably you would have to do your homework and see uh, on your own what the, what the rental <laughs> market looks like, and then most likely a, a rental analysis would back that up. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Definitely okay. doable. Yes. Thank you, John. Oh, Thank you, Ilipino, for letting us be here tonight for Wine About Real Estate. And thank you, John Keeper from Kama Aina Mortgage Group to share all this great information with us. Thank you for having me.